Moving to the last set of the day. This is a super set, reverse curl, uh, bicep curls. But this calls for, you'll notice this is not a lying tricep extension. Uh, I broke my elbow. Flat out, jumped off a cliff in, uh, in high school, oh, yeah. doing some skiing, and I, it prevents me from doing this. So all of you guys with injuries, that's why we show you these, these different variations, so that you can choose an exercise that hits the same muscle group, but uh, is not an exercise that hurts uh, an injury, okay? If it hurts your muscle group all day, thank you, you're welcome, okay? But uh, as far as an actual injury where it's not productive to your joints, we go with this. So this is my, one of my favorite moves for tricep overhead extensions. Now, my butt is securely pressed up against this metal bar. It's not the most comfortable thing, but it guarantees me that I'm not gonna move. Elbows are fixed. I stick my head through. And I'm gonna lean forward. And I'm gonna press. One. Grip the bar like there's no tomorrow. Two. Three. I'm really thinking about the tricep right now. 13. These ones work great. Usually I like to come to here and then press forward, stopping the movement, keeping it from cheating. But this is such an amazing stretch that I don't really find it cheating to move the elbows just a couple, last little bit. Okay. Now, we're in a hurry. So I look around, what can I find, what can I find? The workout calls for a dumbbell reverse grip. Well, you know what? I don't have a dumbbell reverse grip, so what am I gonna choose? And I would never do it like this where I get a rest. This is a total cop out, so don't do this. Know where you're going next time. But for me, I've been running this set and doing this, so it's a little difficult. And I'm tired, I've been training all day. That is too damn heavy. 50 pounds, cable reverse, let's go. Okay, come on. Stay inspired. I'm grabbing my waist, particularly my obliques, because it reminds me to suck in my abs. Two, three, four, five. Grab it with the other hand. That's a great cheat so you don't hurt yourself. A lot of times injuries happen because guys are done with the weight and they don't know how to get it away from them safely. You're not cheating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straighten your damn arm when you do these biceps. Any and all biceps. Ten. Kimberly, how'd you get your split? To be honest with you, I don't know. I just straighten my arms and I don't move my body and I make my biceps do the work. Oh, by the way, here's the workout I did to get it. Olympic barbell curls. Reverse curls. That concludes, ow, that concludes, uh, what is this, arm workout. You're not supposed to know what you're talking about after a set. Shit, I'm falling it. I don't know, I, I'm not faking this, uh, hopefully this is a good visual. It's supposed to hurt, heart is supposed to be high. 
you're supposed to walk out of the gym with arms full of blood. Okay, and then go to the nutritional program. In here, right now, you just scarred them apart. You just ripped them apart. We just killed the muscle tissue. What are we gonna do now within 20 minutes? Post-workout nutrition. Why? That's our anabolic window. Why? It's the, the highest and best digestion you're gonna get of anything you put in your body all day and the most out of it. So please, go over to the nutrition part of this right now and figure out what to get in your body. And you get to keep this workout. Keep by meaning the scars that are trying to happen right now, which is essentially you know, what happens after you rip apart muscle tissue, can scar bigger and faster with the right nutrition. Do not become skinny fat from my workouts, you'll drive me crazy. Go get some nutrition in you. We'll see you in the next workout.